2008 Green Living Conference at the Phoenix Zoo, yeah. There are like 40 vendors here and the oh. thing's sold out. 30 People minutes. are so excited. You oh can just God. feel it. Yeah, this is just absolutely, the, the energy here is absolutely incredible. <laughs> That's right. Five years ago, six years ago, I started giving tours at the Urban Farm. So everything that I do every day is really about how can I represent to you all and to the world what it means to live green. You know, there's lots of different shades of green, and there are. I mean, Crayolas alone, there are 43 different shades of green. And it's really not about are you green or are you not green and who's the greenest. It's really just a continuum. It's a, it's a journey that we're all on, that if we share our information, we become a little bit greener over time, and that's really good for everyone. This is how we can be inspired by looking to nature for design ideas. She's figured it out, and we don't need to do a lot of the figuring out ourselves. She'll teach us. Environmental groups had come to a realization that they were not gonna defeat capitalism, um, and so what they really should do is work on market-based solutions instead of trying to be obstacles to business is actually develop market-based solutions to solve environmental problems through business. Don't buy an air conditioner, grow one. When I talk about harvesting rainwater in the western United States, people typically laugh and they go, yeah, what rain? And my answer is whatever rain I can get my hands on. And uh, we have this perceived scarcity of rain in the Western United States because we're taking the free water source, our free water income, the rain, and just getting rid of it. This is what we can do if we catch these resources that are going by us all the time and store them and turn them into living things, turn them into useful things, rather than having them go straight to the landfill or back into the river or wherever it is they go away somewhere. It makes more sense to actually have people down the street working in your office rather than having people um, you know, halfway around the country. Um, it focuses the more things locally, but it solves the problem because what you're doing is you're harmonizing the economic system with the natural systems. Things get better over time, not worse. We become aware of this, maybe even really happy about this. So happy, we want to take these here buns and do a little bun dance on the path to a bun dance. <laughs>